Lennox. Anything that he's not allowed to have, he would like to have. Mess night. And this dog truly doesn't miss an opportunity to eat. Lennox, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Lennox has just taken someone's lunch. Extremely embarrassing. I think he actually got the guy's hand. Come on, Lennox. He's very strong. Come on. Without the prospect of food... Lennox, not in the road. ..walks with owner Chloe come to a grinding halt. He wants to go to the pub. Lennox, no! Lennox, no! Lennox! That's my lunch gone. Chloe knew she was taking on a handful when she first got him as a pup. No. He was the naughtiest of the bunch, and that's why I decided to pick him. Look <laughs> it! I'm regretting that a little bit now. This is why we don't bring Lennox out. Mum and Molly have gone. What Chloe first saw as an endearing trait soon became impossible to deal with. Lennox! I always worry if a child walks past how dangerous it can be. We were out walking one day and a little girl was walking towards us with an ice cream in her hand. He literally launched at her. The child was obviously scared and she screamed. <gasps> Lennox. And his food scavenging ways aren't just a risk to those around him. So he stolen a whole corn on the cob before. So he had to be operated on and the surgeon found it all completely whole, still in his intestine. Three grand later. Lennox! Oh, <laughs> Lennox! Get down! <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you did have a cup of tea and a plate of biscuits, Thank Graham. you very much. Well, I was going to ask what's the problem, but <laughs> I, what's interesting about that is and there's no hint of remorse or... Oh, no, and he'll keep going. If I was to put more down, he'd eat it again. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love a cup of tea, yeah. Um, and unfortunately, I can't offer you any more biscuits that I have put out. Lennox, you're a bad boy. I like a custard cream as well. And so does Lennox. Yeah, no, I noticed. <laughs> Having already got a taste of Lennox's enormous appetite, Graham is eager to find out more about his food fixation. Whenever it's about, he wants to get it. He's stolen an ice cream from a child and an adult, and I'm worried for a small child he could knock them over. How do people react? They're normally quite scared of him. He's quite a powerful dog. And, yeah, not very happy when their ice cream's on the floor. Or inside a dog. <laughs> So, what's he eaten around the house? He's had sandwiches off the side, my roast chicken off of the side. With the bones? Yeah. And it's not as though he's underfed, I mean... He's actually managed to get a corn on the cob before, which actually led to him almost nearly dying. He literally just collapsed and they operated on him and mm. found a corn on the cob with the stick on stuck in his intestines. Blimey. So, how close was he to death? The vet said, if we don't operate, he's going to die, so it wow. was touch and go. Yeah. In order to see the true scale of the problem, Graham needs to see Lennox out amongst the public. What problems do you have when you come here? There's lots of um, cafes along here with people eating. So what happens if he spots a bit of food or something? Oh, he would be straight at it. Would he? Yeah. Right. But it seems today Lennox is behaving himself. Until... Oh, stop him! Oh, oh. oh my God! I'm so sorry! sorry. Lennox! Come here, I'll keep hold of him. Oh, Lennox. you know. As you can see, that's the normal thing we have. Yeah, yeah, looks like a rocket then. <sighs> I'm so sorry yeah. about that, I'll buy you a new one. Thank you very much. That was lightning fast. Very quick, but uh, it's not the first time he's done that. Well, that, that took me by surprise. He'd pretty much gone past and then went... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what time have you got to react to that? So, that makes training really difficult. Um, can I order one bacon sandwich, please, for the lady out there? Right, well, that was pretty extreme. That was um, so embarrassing. What's your worst fear, though? I'm terrified that he will be put down because he bites someone. With Chloe fearing for Lennox's future, it's time for some home truths. Now, look, you seem like a really reasonable person, and I'm going to tell you something I think you already knew, but you are not in control of that no. dog. And for your own peace of mind, and for everybody's safety, and his, you need to be. Yeah, I think something needs to change, um, and I do need to be more in control of him, um, so I'm willing to give it a go. I'm going to put some food down on your table. When he goes for it, because he will, 
I'm going to use a command off with a tone of voice that really suggests exactly that. And to reinforce the word off, like, Whoa. Graham is going to use a visual signal to underline it. So as it starts to come down, it's like that off. Oh, good boy. That's very good. To incentivize Lennox to obey the command, Graham has another trick up his sleeve. Up here, I've got some chicken. So I'm watching him like a hawk right now, ready to step in if I have to. I pick up a bit of chicken. If he does what I want, off and backs off. Oh, look, he sat down. Good boy. Right, what's this? So far, he's resisted temptation. But will that continue when Graham steps right out of the way of the sausages? If he goes forward, I'm going to step in and tell him off. So his little doggy brain goes, don't go to the sausages, listen to off, do sit. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, my God, that's absolutely amazing. Now that the meaning of the word off has sunk in, will it pay off when Chloe has a go? You're going to put that plate of sausages on the floor, but you need to watch him like a hawk. Now, keep an eye on him. Now, oh. let you see, when you weren't looking, I he got two feet closer to those <laughs> sausages. Right. Off. Good boy. That's it. Watch him. Good boy. That's it. Keep an eye on him. I'll jump in if I have to. Now, you've got to get there before him if he makes a move. Good boy. That's pretty good, though, isn't it? Yeah. Now, he's watching it. Off. Brilliant. Well done. Good boy. That's really good, Chloe. Good boy. So the message is clear, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Has this ever happened? Not when food's been in the room. That's great. Well, giving Lennox the incentive of a treat has really helped that command sink in. But you know what? Now he's learnt it. I think he'll still do it without the added reward. But there's only one way to find out. To put Lennox to the ultimate test, Graham wants to tempt this hungry hound. Wow. Come on over, Chloe. How many picnics have you got going on? That's my worst nightmare. <laughs> Right. <laughs> the picnic slalom, right? <laughs> so your mission is to walk around them and show me what you can do. So now you're on lead, you need to use your off command every time he looks as though he's about to go for the food. And don't hang around, yeah? Okay. If he starts to move, he needs to be really quick. Go for it. Yep. Good. Give it a go. That's the attitude. <laughs> Great. And as an extra bonus, the lady at the end, of course, you may have recognised, that's your daughter. <laughs> so she's going to be cheering you on. So will Chloe be able to stop him stealing food using only the off command? Ready? Yeah, let's go. Go for it. That's it. Give yourself some room. Off. Oh, you passed the cake with the sprinkles. Brilliant. So, off. Right, brilliant. Chloe successfully guides Lennox past three of the four blankets without a morsel nearing his mouth. Well done. But as they approach the final hurdle... Off. Right. Off. Oh, ah. my God. Oh, my God, Lennox. One donut down. It's not going as Graham had hoped. OK. It's not <laughs> the end of the world. Listen, what you've got to remember is this is on the floor. Yeah. It's a lot harder than walking past a cafe where things are on a table. I'm really pushing you here. So remember... To relax your arm, he'll walk with you and praise the good bits. Yeah. Off we go. So you pass the cake with the sprinkles. Brilliant. Keep going. Good boy. That's Off. it. You pass the chicken. He's not even noticed He's it. He's not. Just hours earlier. Off. Keep going. Keep going. Off. Chloe wouldn't have been able to step near the first plate. Don't let him. Off. That's it. Take control. Hey, and Leonard. final test. Off. Round the donuts. Come on. Keep going. Oh, boy. good. Well done. But with a strong command Off. and some praise... Good boy. Look, see, that's improved. Lennox successfully completes the snack slalom. Not once... That's the way to do it. ..but twice. That's it. Good. Pass the cake with the sprinkles and... Oh, put well it there. done! <laughs> what do you reckon, everybody? <laughs> Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> that was so much better. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel like I'm in control now. Well, do you know what? Congratulations. I thought you, you did really well. <laughs> I never expected that I would be able to walk past one picnic blanket, let alone four, um, and him actually not get hold of anything. And I think with a lot of practice and training, we're going to have a different dog. All the best. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much for your help, Graham. Take care. Now. Thank you. Bye bye.